The holidays are approaching and pretty soon you will start seeing lines for Santa just about everywhere. But where do Santas learn how to be Santa? A new HBO Max documentary is giving us an inside look at a Santa camp in New Hampshire where professional Santas, Mrs. Clauses, and elves learn their tricks of the trade. But this year, the New England Santa Society is also tackling a complicated and historic problem, the lack of diversity in the Santa industry. Take a look. The New England Santa Society created a school called Santa Camp. It's starting to become more visible, and we're starting to do much more promotion of it. The issue we run into is that people just have a very specific idea of what Santa should look like. So, we have a lot of new Santas. I want to be able to be Black Santa for other families. I'm going to be going up to New Hampshire to learn all the ins and outs of being Santa. Oh, it's definitely going to be strange experience. Levi is transgender. Oh, 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 Santa Levi, a.k.a. Trans Santa here. And Santa Levi, who you saw in that trailer, joins me live now for more on this. Uh, I should say Levi and his partner Heidi have asked us not to use their last names for security reasons, so you won't hear me say that. But Levi, thank you for being here. When did you and your partner, Heidi, first start dressing as Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus, or Dr. Claus, as Heidi goes by? Yeah. And what made you decide to kind of take that leap and go full-fledged to Santa Camp? Yeah, originally, um, it was just a volunteer event for a school um, that my wife worked for, who were parenting and teen moms, and so they were bringing the littles in, and they wanted someone that they were familiar with, and so, you know, naturally, I came up, so because I, I had a relationship with them, and then you know, through the documentary approaching us is when we really found out about Santa Camp, and we just thought it would be a good idea for us to go and find out what would help us improve, you know, being a Santa, so. Now, in the documentary, you talk about what you would have felt as a kid to have seen a trans Santa. How does it feel to be that person now? Um, it's kind of amazing to have kids, you know, we had an event, which is in the film, um, where kids were just asking for things like acceptance. You know, I think Santa is this character that, you know, people ask for grandiose things from, usually, you know, like, um, whether it's the death of a loved one coming back or um, healing a disease or something. And so I think for me to have that space for, you know, LGBTQIA kids to be able to ask for just affirmation for their gender identity. Now, after Santa Camp, your community organized a Santa greeting um, that turned a bit controversial. There was some tension outside. What was that like for you to when you found out what was happening outside? And what, is that, what did that do for you moving forward? Um, if anything, it pushed me to do more, right? Like, it makes me want to be even more visible and create that space for kids. Um, luckily for us, we were really sheltered. Like, we weren't really aware of what was happening outside. Because um, our main concern with that was, are the kids going to feel that pressure from the outside? Are mm -hmm. they going to see the protesters and things? And so we really wanted to make sure that the kids were going to be safe, that we we're in a safe space. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, it's really just given me that drive to want to do it more. Levi, what do you say to parents who <clears throat> want to raise open-minded, loving kids, but just feel that they're too young right now to be introduced to a topic like what it means to be trans. Yeah, I think, you know, in the film, when I talk about, like, it would have made a difference for me because I think as a kid, I just didn't have exposure to transgender or what that meant for me. Um, and so I think nowadays kids have a lot more exposure, right? And so they have the knowledge, they have the internet, they have, um, you know, the visibility. And so for me, it's just about, like, making sure that I am visible, that I'm aware. I think for parents, you know, like, I don't have an agenda other than to spread magic and joy, like any Santa, right? Like, I think that is my main purpose, is just to spread joy and create a space where kids can ask for things that they wouldn't normally ask Santa for. Well, Levi, we appreciate you coming in today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.